Today's video is the epitome of laziness. So first of all, I need to address the fact that a Thai actor will absolutely need to sing at some point in his career. Whether it's at a fan meet or the company they work at wants them to record a cover or sing a drama soundtrack, they will have to sing. And that's just not something that happens in the West. A lot of artistic people are artistic in many fields, but we would never expect Leonardo DiCaprio to be able to sing as well. Watch people tell me that actually Leonardo DiCaprio is a great singer. But yeah, it's always kind of astonished me the expectation that any Thai actor and actress knows how to sing. So I've selected about 30 videos of actors and actresses singing and I'm gonna watch them and grade their singing out of 10. But disclaimer, I mean no harm at all. So while I do play instruments and sing myself, I am not trained professionally and I've learned it all on my own. Therefore, this is not gonna be a voice teacher reacts to Thai actor singing, but just me, a fan, reacting to it. So don't take it too seriously. I like all the actors we're gonna watch today. There is no shade at all. This is just for fun. Anyways, let's start. So the first actors we're gonna judge are of Gun. So um, mostly I know I selected this video for Gun. Is there a backing track? You know, as an Afghan fan, I've watched basically all the videos about them <laughs> ever and I already had a suspicion that Fantastic Baby was either lip-synced or had a very heavy uh, backing track and so I'm not sure if I'm really judging gun singing uh, entirely. I'm gonna listen to the rest and I'll give you my conclusion at the end. I mean, there's no breathing at all, like... It sounds recorded. I don't know. It's, I mean... See, he's running, that's weird. <laughs> that choreography. <laughs> I think he's li it's lip sync. I think it's lip sync. That's my theory, sorry. I love them, but... Okay, I pause again. Um, <laughs> I love Oz so much. <laughs> I do think it's lip synced, and I'm saying that as an Afghan fan, but I just. He fucking ran. Like, he ran on stage, and you couldn't hear one fucking breath. Like, mm, it's shady. It's shady to me. Uh, I think it's lip synced. Um, but I'm gonna judge it as if it wasn't, so. For Gun, I think he, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but I don't think singing is his uh, calling at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think he's an incredible actor, one of the best Thai actors out there. I just feel like he's not really trained in singing, and so you can clearly hear it. I feel like his voice kind of sounds odd with the songs, but maybe it's the songs they, they chose as well, I don't know. So I'm gonna grade him a, a 6 out of 10 because he didn't sound bad at all, he sounded alright. That being said, uh, when I hear him, I don't hear a singer, I hear an actor singing. As for Piaf, um, I'll be waiting a little bit because as I said there's a lot more, a lot more to, to, to watch. So the next one is gonna be Piump and Piarm. Oh I love this song, yes bitch, pull me up. Mm. He looks so cute with the white hair, yes! <laughs> Very similar voices, actually. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stop there because I have 
not a lot to say and also a lot <laughs> so first of all you can tell that these two are really really good singers i mean they're literally at a concert they just feel so much more professional uh, also they harmonize really really well like they already have very similar voices but when they're harmonized yes bitch that was good they did runs and here i felt like they really really like there's no bad notes they're just really really good here i'm going to give uh both of them 9 out of 10 i feel they're very solid singers they've been doing it for a long long time as well they've been singing for a long time yeah i don't have much to say they were just both really good they looked really good um yeah i approve oh. So now we're going to my favorite duo on earth, of Day. Like, they're my favorite pair of BFFs. They're everything to me, um, if I must be honest. And I've heard this song sung by them about 50 times now. I know it by heart. I just love that song and I love them singing it. So let's go. Once you lose the lock and take a patient, you to cry, to cry, so tell me, tell me, I should keep that meeting, keep, keep that meeting. It sounds so good together, like. Okay, um, so before I give my <laughs> final verdict, <laughs> um, I'm go I also saved another cover by Ofte. So let's go and then I'll give a recap. <laughs> I love him! Look at him! Okay, so this is done. Now I can give my verdict. I, I know I have another video where uh, Off is gonna uh, rap. I am already bitch! So we're gonna watch that next. But I still want to give my verdict for both uh, uh, Tay and Off uh, right now, right here. First of all, petition for them to have a band like um not a band like a duo like bitch they sound so good together those harmonies um just heaven like to me i just love them first of all i'm a stan again they're my favorite thing on earth so <laughs> who's surprised so first day i think he's a really really great singer and actually i really really love his singing voice i think he's really good and he's also been getting better and better like at first he was just all right and now i think those runs in the first song were really really good they still impress me i've listened to them like 50 times so um i'm going to give him an, an eight i might be being a little harsh like uh i'm not giving everyone a 10 here I'm really judging who could be a, a real singer, like a full-time singer that sings like all the time and I really think they could be that. Uh, for Off, I think he's been getting better as well. Um, so I I would like to give him a seven and a half or an eight. I, I think Tay is a better singer. I don't want to give him a seven, so I'm gonna give Off a seven and a half. They're really really good, I love them. Anyways, let's move on! <laughs> you know what? No, no, no. Be before we, we listen to the Sotus version, I want you to to listen to the original version so the next video is gonna be CZ X Nanan so we're gonna listen to that and then we'll listen to the Sotis version and we'll kind of compare okay let's go <laughs> This 
this is probably live because here Sanji didn't sound at all like on the uh, studio version. This sounds a little too like flat, uh, good luck. It sounds too good. Like <laughs> this is not okay. Give I more lines, like literally. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like uh, Jane's voice. <laughs> That's so mean, I'm sorry. I really love Jane as well, like, she's a great actress. She's beautiful, but like, she has my least favorite voice from the, the group. Bitch, sorry, I, I was like, I, I was focused on Jane, but I need to re listen to this uh, Nan on the high note, bitch. <laughs> Is it? I think there's a backing track. That's shady. I never know with this kind of uh, recordings because this is obviously like a professional recording. This is not someone at their phone at the concert recording. So uh, I never know if it's just the quality is too good so it feels like it's lip synced or um, it is really lip synced or at least auto tune. Uh, I'm gonna finish here. Conclusion, they sing well. <laughs> <laughs> that is the conclusion. Okay, bye! No, um, I would say Nanon, I would give him a, a seven and a half. I think he's, he, he's, he's pretty good. I don't see him as a professional sing singer and that's kind of what I'm judging it on. For the rest, as I said, I don't really like Jane's voice. Like, I, I, I hope she never sees this. I, I hope she never, like, knows that I don't like her her singing voice. The rest was fine. Honestly, I was surprised by um, Jan's voice at the beginning. On the studio version, I felt like her voice just sounded too fucking high. Like, it sounded too high. And here, why, am I, why do I still have my headphones? So anyways, uh, and here I just feel like... It sounded quite good, so I, I'm pretty surprised. I would give uh, Jane a 6 out of 10, sorry! Jana, I will give her a 7, Sizey a 7, and I will give I an 8. I'm kind of biased towards her, I think she has the best voice, um, so yeah. But that's that's my conclusion, okay? Let's move on. So now we can watch the Sotus version. It's not gonna be super interesting because I couldn't find a video, so this is only gonna be a line distribution thing. And surprise, surprise, I, I haven't watched this video. I promise you that Off will have the least lines. To that uh, rapping bounce. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm biased. Bye. <laughs> they went out, bitch. They went out. Okay, so let's let's move on. Let's um, conclude. Oh, oh, wait. No, first of all, I need to verify at the very end. So here I am at the very, very end. Oh, who sang the least of Jumpo? 
Oh, what a surprise. What did I say? <sighs> what did I say? And honestly, I'm not really surprised that Off sung the least because I know he's really not comfortable into singing. And I'm sure he was the one to, to ask, oh, please don't give me too many lines, thank you. <laughs> but I'm really, really surprised that they gave New that many singing lines because I'm, I, I again, I don't want to be rude. Um, but for me, I consider New one of the worst singers at JMMTV, like no shade, but um, he feels clumsy to me. He feels, and Namon was the same, I was quite surprised. Uh, I thought he would sing better than this, so I'm gonna give them both like uh, five. Uh, and also, I just want to say that this whole song felt so much more clunky than the original because the original is obviously much higher. And here, I'm not sure like putting it uh, lower was really the best. I mean, they, they couldn't do otherwise because besides Singto, none of them really knows how to sing very high. But I just feel like the song sounds a lot worse. <laughs> And the song already isn't like the best song ever, but here it just sounded... In my CZ video, I, I talked about how um, I feel like sometimes the parts are a little too high, and I still stand by that, but now that I have a comparison with a much uh, lower version of it, I do prefer the high version actually. <laughs> So yeah, um, Singto really impressed me. I think he's a really, really good singer. I will give him uh, an 8. Here, uh, Guy, I know Guy uh, sings. I mean, he was in Together. You know, he was in the music club, so he better know how to sing. Here, I didn't like his parts because they gave him the rapping parts. I don't know. I, I, I didn't love it. I would give him a 7. So I feel bad because I know, like, he, he sings, like... He is a musician. He taught like off base for the Fantastic Baby Tour too. So so uh, yeah, sorry, sorry guy. <laughs> and off um I already gave him like a seven and a half here. Just um uh, to autotune. <laughs> and here like this was the proof that like GMMTV was autotuning that and I think they autotune everything. So um <laughs> That is the conclusion. Um, I prefer the original. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so next, what the fuck is that? Oh, this is Shimon. Okay, let's go, bitch. here because I know this video is gonna be hell to edit so uh, I what I heard was a decent singer but as I said like most Thai singers are decent like he knows how to um, expel his voice uh, you know a lot of people who don't know how to sing who have uh, barely sung in their life they, they sing like mm -hmm. you get it okay here he knows how to expel it I mean he was on a singing show so I would hope he knows how to sing at least a little bit. That being said, I don't think he has a lot of technique. Uh, I just feel like a voice teacher now. I don't think uh, his C chord was a little flat. <laughs> no, no, but um, you know, it just like sounded very average singer to me. I don't fucking kill me. Like it felt a little clumsy to me. I would give him six and a half. Um. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I do like him. I think he's a really good actor. So at least he has that going, you know. Um, the next one is gonna be Tempt. Ooh. I know he would slay. Ah, 
Okay, I'm done with this one. Um, conclusion just by this song, I listened to like a minute. The main uh, singer, I think his name is Title really good. I just feel like he has this ease that comes with being uh, a professional singer um, or at least a, a trained singer. Uh, Perth was a little more clumsy in my opinion. Um, not bad though, not bad. Let's listen to the other song. That's my jam. Honestly this song plays me every time. Oh no this is awkward. I hate this setting like this. They're just standing there like... <laughs> I hate that. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go bitch. Okay. He sounds exactly like the studio version. Earth got way better, like in five seconds. Oh, Plan is singing here? Bird got so much better because he's singing fire. I like this dude, honestly. If he goes solo, I will stand. Be with me, girl. Honestly, he's my fave. Gun is my fave. I, I love him. He's so cute. He pulls out look e looks every time. Here, not so much. He pulls out looks with the wing of lazy eyes. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know Plan Sun. Good for him. The skinny jeans? I'm not a fan, sorry. <laughs> this is turning into a fashion review. <laughs> well, you know what? Bye, okay, I'm done. Let's conclude this. Shit. So, as I said, the main singer, really good. I like him. I would give him oh, an eight and a half. Uh, as for Bird, he got so much better from one song to another. Like in the first song, he sang like a lot um, deeper, lower. And here he was singing quite a bit higher. I do think here it was a little bit uh, auto-tuned um, because I don't trust anything that is on TV and recorded professionally. I just assume automatically there's auto-tune. <laughs> because here again, I didn't hear breathing and I want to hear breathing. <laughs> but I think he did a lot better in this song and he sang more as well. Um, so I would give him a solid... Um, a seven and a half. As for Plan, uh, I haven't heard him sing a lot, so I would give him a, a, a six and a half because I don't know a lot about his singing to be honest. And then for Gun, I will give him um, a seven and a half as well. His rapping isn't bad, um, that's that's all I say. It's not bad, it's not amazing either. It's good, it's okay. The next song is gonna be uh, Me Too or... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Tommy from Why Are You? I don't think Timmy sings in that. I think they, they pulled the same thing from the show where um, one song and the other play guitar. Let's go. <laughs> I love them, they're really cute. <laughs> If the, that fan is gonna sing alongside him, go shut up. <laughs> he has a good tone, you know. Wow, slightly shaky voice. Okay, he, 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 he avoided the high note right now. 
Thank okay. you. Oh, oh, they're cute. Okay, okay. So he was obviously um, quite shy. Um, I can get it, honestly. Oh, singing in front of others is always a little uh, stressful. I think he he at first he did well, and then he let the stress get to him, and also he avoided the high notes, which. Uh, you you can't do that. Like you, if you choose to sing a, a song with a high note, you gotta you gotta sing the high note. So I would give him a six and a half. I think he has a really really good voice. Uh, he's actually gonna be part of the boyfriend thingy. So he's gonna release a song very soon. I'm quite excited about that. And uh, I I think he has a lot of potential. But here he had a lot of nervousness and clumsiness. But I get it. I don't blame him. I think he has a lot of potential. So I'm giving it only uh, six and a half because this performance right here was an eight sis but i think he could be an a seven and a half eight honestly he could be quite good so the next uh we're gonna uh, go with another why are you a uh, cast member which is saint Oof, this is shaky i mean i get it i'm the same at concerts i'm like ah! <laughs> oh he looks cute Which is that the one of the dancers? He's one of the dancers for Make It Right. Oh, there's, there's a touch. No, it's not him. It's not Lukmo from Make It Right. I said. Oh. I hate it. Okay. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm done, the cringe was too much. I don't know why, I, I mean, I do know. Now rap is just so prominent and I'm all for it. I just feel like now it's expected from every uh, every person ever, and especially uh, men, to know how to rap. Um, and just sometimes... Um, so here, like, the singing part, really, really good. The rap part, mm, I, I wasn't into it. I mean, he's not a bad rapper. Like, he was on the tempo, he was he was good. But um, it's just, like, the cringe was too much for me. Uh, that's very, like, subjective. I'm sure people were like, oh, no, he's an alright singer, but I love his rapping the most. Good for you. Oh. Um, but, no, I cannot. I will give him an 8. You know what? An eight um, for the singing, the rapping, <laughs> the rapping a uh, 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 six. <laughs> Hi, um, yeah, you can see that my hair aren't the same, my outfit isn't the same, my makeup isn't the same, and that's because I'm filming this on another day. Remember how I said that this video would be the epitome of laziness? Yeah, no, that didn't happen. It actually was the hardest video for me to edit, uh, simply because I chose way too many videos to react to. And now the video is half an hour, and I haven't even gone through half of the videos I wanted to react to, so I decided to cut this video 
video in two which is why I'm filming this video to explain to you that next week's video will be um, the second part to this video with the rest of the uh, singing videos I reacted to so yeah I still hope you enjoyed this chaotic video it was really hard for me to edit um, and it's really really long but I still hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.